Hey guys, today I have another unfair comparison, and like I always say in these kinds of videos, this is only for experiment purposes. I know there's a clear winner. Anyway, this comparison is going to be between the popular Razer Black Widow X Chroma. This is the tournament edition, so it's the one that costs about $120 on Amazon. It doesn't have the number pad on the side, and it's a bit smaller. I'm going to be comparing that to a $20 keyboard from Ombar. They're both gaming keyboards, but of course they work for everything else. Now they both have some of the same features but they do it very differently. And we're gonna take a look at that in this video. So please make sure to leave a like, a comment down below, and consider subscribing. Enjoy the video. Starting off with the Ombar keyboard, we have a full size keyboard with all 104 keys. The keyboard's footprint is probably bigger than the average board because of the gamer looking design. The whole thing is composed of plastic. This is a membrane keyboard so you're not going to be getting that clicky feedback when typing. For the $20 price, it's surprising that there's lighting in here. There are three colors you can choose from, red, blue, and purple. You can only have one at a time, and in the static and breathing modes only. There are no other modes and no customization. Moving on to the popular Razer Black Widow X Chroma. This is a smaller version, like I said it's a tournament edition, but it's still a monster in all areas. It's composed of military grade metal, giving it that premium feel and sturdiness. This thing's not gonna break or bend even if you drop a nuke on it, but it will scratch unfortunately. I scratched mine the first week I got it. It's a mechanical keyboard with Razer's green switches. They're really loud and satisfying to click. The lighting on this keyboard is some of the best I've seen. You can customize pretty much any key to light up how you like. On top of that, you can customize keys themselves to serve certain functions. This can improve productivity. Seeing them side by side, you can definitely tell which is more expensive. Without a doubt, the Black Widow is better, but it also costs about 5 or 6 times the price of the Ombar keyboard. That's a lot of money. I've experienced both for gaming and of course the Razer Black Widow is better, but the Ombar keyboard is not as bad as one may think. The only problem I have with it are the keys. Sometimes, especially in a fast paced game, I press a key and I'm not completely sure if it registered. Since it's a membrane keyboard, like I said earlier, you don't get that clicky feedback. With the Razer Black Widow, I have no doubt when I press the key, and in a fast paced game, there's no problem. When typing papers or something like that, the same thing continues, and I make mistakes or I just take longer because I have to make sure I actually typed something without making a mistake, or missed a letter. One thing I do like about the Umbar keyboard is the number of multimedia keys and the number pad. I know if you get the full size Black Widow, you also get those keys, but that model costs even more money. However, one major capability that the Black Widow has over the Umbar is customization. You can customize pretty much anything on the Black Widow using the Razer Synapse software. Here you could set functions to function keys, you could change the whole lighting layout, you could even set functions to the regular keys. There's endless possibilities with the Black Widow. And speaking of lighting, like I said, I'm surprised that the Umbar keyboard even has lighting for $20, and it actually doesn't look bad. Let's talk about who these keyboards are for. I think the Umbar keyboard would best suit someone who's just getting into PC gaming and wants a decent gaming keyboard for a low price. Something good enough to learn how to play on PC, you know, for the gamers who aren't really good at gaming with a keyboard and need to learn the thing. I actually still have a long way to go before I'm even decent at playing with a keyboard. I'm pretty bad. The Black Widow is for more experienced gamers, who love to customize their keyboards to get what they need instantly. It's also a great keyboard for the office. It doesn't look too flashy, like the Umbar keyboard, and the key font looks professional. It's also a great productivity keyboard because of the customizable keys. You can program shortcuts to them. And for their prices, they both fit in well with their categories. That's it for this video. Please make sure to leave a like, a comment down below, and consider subscribing. Once again, the links to these keyboards will be down in the description below. You guys can check them out if you like. I also made more videos on these in my channel. I'm gonna have those linked down below as well, uh, in case you guys are interested. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.